I'll get the rod just corked. Yeah. That is a job. If there's a fish that, that swims, is... I need to catch it. Fresh water, salt water, from a boat, from a kayak, or from four inches of ice. Oh I my. thrive off the new experiences fishing gives me. <laughs> I'm an ex-fishing so guide turned videographer calling Lake of the Woods, Ontario my home. I'm Jay Siemens, and this is the Canadian Angle. The Falcon Lake Winter Fish Off is one of the biggest ice fishing derbies in Canada, typically bringing close to 2,000 people on the ice for a grand prize fish of $15,000. In the past, I've just helped out and drilled holes. While I will be helping again with that this year, I've also decided to punch my ticket and fish against the masses to hopefully come to the scale with a prize winning fish. It's roughly 600 feet by 1,200 feet divided by 15. What's the hole count? It's around 3,500, depending on what we take out for the, the tent. Way tent and road and stuff. So 3,500 holes by four people. Yeah. That's a good workout. I can picture some years where it was so slushy and like after the derby vehicles getting off the ice was like, it was pushing it. This year that won't be an issue, but how's it going? I'm Jay. With every person that comes, it means like 100 less holes for all of us or 200 maybe. We're gonna ruin their lineup here. One of these augers is not like the others. There you go. I, I, there are situations for gas augers. I will say electric augers are, you know, the future, but uh, we'll see. We'll see if I burn through all my batteries today. What would be nice is to have a guy at every mark along that rope, right? Yeah. And then just move the whole grid. Yeah. So we got a few more guys showing up here, so we should be marching real quick. So you can see this rope system that Ian was talking about, and everywhere there's tape is where we drill holes. So it's just, when you're drilling this many holes, if you don't have a system like this, it gets completely wonky. So, you know, this is from trial and error for many years of them running this derby. And to drill that many holes, and you'll see how clean it is when it's all done. It's, it's an art form. Gas auger sounds so funny. I haven't heard a gas auger in a while. Here we go, hole number one. Only 3,499 to go. 3,998. Drilling a few thousand holes is a challenge. Drilling a few thousand holes symmetrically is art. Over the few years I've helped with the Derby, there's always refinement to the systems. I think they now finally have it dialed. With a system of wooden stakes and marked ropes, we're able to create a perfect grid of ice holes for the contestants to fish. entire area will look like this grid behind us I'm getting sweaty so these guys are uh, are setting up what's gonna be the ticket tent we're gonna have uh, tickets for sale on the ice uh, bait a little bit of merchandise stuff like that uh, right at the entrance to the Derby site as you're coming out of the parking lot off the beach uh, ticket tents right here and then in the middle of the grid they're gonna set up another tent that's gonna be our way tent I think I burned through all my batteries. I might help you set up the fence if you want. They're doing good. That's the last row I think there. So then it's just filling the rest in. Yeah. How many fish get caught in a normal year? Yeah, anywhere between, I think our lowest was 64 and our highest is like 128. So what's the percentage? If you have, how many people, like 1800, 1500, somewhere in there? Yeah, some something like that. Uh, fishing over 2000 holes. So yeah. less than 5% of people are gonna catch a fish on a good year. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's probably better than buying a lottery ticket though still. For sure, we, we're paying out top 50 prizes. Uh, 
We got prizes for like literally everyone on the, that comes onto the ice this year is gonna get a free toque, so. Nice. I just, I'm just picturing tomorrow and this just being a sea of people and madness. And I remember the last couple of years, just a lineup all the way down the parking lot, people with their buckets, just like, I have memories of people just tripping on their faces, running, trying to get to the far end. And Yeah, for sure. And that like, that's one of the nice things about having good snow conditions right now is it's not slippery, yeah. but it's not so deep that you're going to be like, wading through it yeah 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 you're gonna see some people in their like in their running shoes who've been like training in the off season for the past <laughs> three years you know like trying trying for that outside corner hole or yeah. whatever you said there's weed like a weed line that goes through here too there's a there's a weed line and a brake line um right around that sort of 10 to 15 foot uh, mark that basically goes right through the middle of this derby site what have you all seen pike whitefish perch do yeah. people ever catch bass? I don't know that we've ever weighed in a bash, but bass, but we've weighed in burbot and we've weighed in obviously walleye. Yeah. But uh, to be honest, you know, middle of the day with tunes pumping, mostly we're catching pike. Like 98% of the fish here are pike. This is really a pike derby. Yeah, yeah. And has there been what? There's been like 15 to 20 pounders to win it, right? The biggest uh, is 20 pounds. I mean, Falcon Lake holds 30 pounds yeah. pike in it. Yeah. It's just, I think it's limited by eight inch holes. To get it, to turn its head up an eight inch hole yeah. is, uh, I think that's what really narrows it down. But yeah, so we'll see what happens. That's good. And it could be any one of these uh, 3,400 holes that we're drilling, <laughs> right? I'm gonna put my auger away and then let me know what I can do. So if I win it, it's not gonna look fishy that I was here drilling holes. There's no clause in the rules that you can't be the hole driller and win the derby? Absolutely not. There's, uh, you know, half of those guys will be fishing tomorrow, yeah. That seems like a community thing. I mean, Falk, I mean, how many residents are there in Falcon year round? I, maybe there's 600 year round yeah. residents. Um, and a bunch of those would be like retirees, right? So um, in the winter time, it's a small community. And yeah, but people like this event, fills our town on a weekend that would otherwise be empty so yeah. the business community gets behind it and it yeah it's good for the area so yeah. all right well we're packing up i uh they still got gas i burned through all my batteries but uh i'm gonna go get some gear rigged we're back tomorrow morning early we're gonna be lining up here and i got my dad my brother-in-law kyle my brother jeremy so hopefully we come back with a big old sack of money or one of the other many prizes but uh it should be fun hoping for a little less wind and a couple more fish. Well, we made it. We're in line. I got my tickets for the Falcon Lake Winter Fish Off. It's been probably 10 years since I've competed in this. I've volunteered a couple times, but now we're, we're fishing for a win. So in 20 minutes, the gates will open at nine o'clock and people will flood onto the ice. It is a spectacle seeing people run out. We're gonna go park and we'll see the madness of everyone running out. We'll probably hold back and I'll, I'll wait for my family. But uh, this is like a community communal fishing event. It's, you know, there are people that take it very seriously and you will see today there's some people that do not take it seriously at all. We're somewhere in the middle, probably a little more on the serious side but uh, I'm sure there's some people that sit in the beer gardens all day and don't really fish, so that will not be us. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Jay, how you doing? Good, how are you? Uh, Finished every, all the holes though. Uh, yeah, and there's guys out popping the holes again because right there's about an inch, inch and a half of crust on top of it, so. Ridiculous, well. It is what it is. Uh, Ian said it'd be okay if I parked on the ice. Is there still a spot or two there? Uh, we saved a spot for you. Really? No. There's there, there, there a spot. There's a spot, there. okay, thank you. Enjoy yourselves, I'll thank see you on you the so ice. Thank you so much. When I was talking to Ian Young, the organizer of the event, he couldn't help but get choked up talking about the community effort this derby was. It was incredible to see Falcon Lake and the surrounding communities come together for this special event. It's not easy work, but it's a pretty cool spectacle once the holes are drilled and the area is filled with people. Not only do they have an incredible spread of prizes for the anglers every year, but they always make a focus to fundraise some money for the St. Amant charity. Pretty hyped up, man. We got some free toques. 
feel like I already won. <laughs> How long have you been waiting for your Uh Two hours. Just after yeah. seven. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. We got here early. We want to get uh, on the outskirts. Outskirts, get four in a row, and we get the fish coming in. It's all very scientific. <laughs> did all the math earlier last night. What kind of fish do you think is going to win it this year? Uh, My fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his fish for sure. Well, I didn't get up early enough to be in the front of that line, but those guys, they're diehards. One minute, one minute. I'm going to let them get cream of the crop. I'll, I'll pick what's left over, but yeah, 3,500 holes. The guys opened them up this morning. Yeah, this is cool. There's a lot of people here ready. Look at that, look at that boy in the green. He's ready to rock. Boy in the green's going to make it to the far end. You guys ready? On your mark. Get set. Go! Go! Definitely a couple people fell. I hope, I think everyone's okay, but it was just chaos. That was amazing. I think the consensus is people want the outside holes because they're thinking fish are gonna come into the area, which I'm not sure if fish come into the area when there's this much commotion happening. I feel like you might just drop right on a fish, but we're gonna go get gear unloaded. I think my dad showed up, so we might go set our couple buckets and yeah, that's pretty much it. I think this area filled up in a hurry. Wow, this looks a little different than yesterday. How big a fish do you think you need to win it? I mean, a 20 pounder would win it. I'd like to be on that. I'd like to be on that line. There's a weed line right there. You know, typically when I fish, I try to get away from people. I don't think that's gonna happen today. So look at that. No look, look, look. Fish. To the side, no weeds. Boom. This is right on the weed edge. I think anywhere along here is gonna be perfect. So we'll, we'll, we can only claim four holes right now, Dad. Right. And then we can claim more when the other guys go, but we can go 60 yards away. So we can go pretty far. Like we can go out there to here. And so yeah, this is what we'll use for bait and very basic, the tip up. So this is the best option for your second line. It's perfect when you're trying to catch a big pike and then when the fish swims with it, takes the bait. If it's not jammed and the flag goes up. So this little tag on here, that's what allows us to mark our hole. That's what keeps this thing legit. So you gotta put this on your tip up. We can't put these in the water until 11, but we're gonna set our spread out so we know where it is, but we gotta wait. We gotta wait till 11 o'clock. And now it is marked. Well, are you feeling lucky today, Dad? Yeah, why we not? We fished this, what, probably 10 or 12 years ago, maybe? Yeah, I don't think I did much of anything that time. Welcome, how are you? Good. Ready to win? Yes. Oh, we'll be, uh, are here only to win. Winning only? Yes. All right, so we have four tip-ups out right now, and then we'll have a couple of rods ready too. We're just gonna get this ready. We can't drop lines yet, so there we go. That's what's gonna do it. Well, we got baits on the lines. We got Jeremy and Kyle. Is this your first fishing derby? Indeed. This is your yeah. first derby. derby. Yeah. First one, first win. First win. We're excited. Yeah. We've already spent the 15 grand, yeah. so we're hoping that the <laughs> results come in. Oh, you hear that? Ten. You guys can drop down. Get your rods ready. Go, 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 go. We'll, we'll drop this one down over here. All right, next one. So you have a rattle bait on. So this will be pretty aggressive. Yeah. Very loud. So yeah, I would just drop down to the bottom, Jer. Okay. And I'd give it like a rip. Okay. You know what you're looking at? Yeah. What are you seeing, Kyle? Nothing. <laughs> 
Normally in these fishing derbies, a high percentage of fish are caught within the first few minutes. This day was no different. Seconds after dropping lines down, we could see bent rods all around us. There you go. Where's your bucket? Big fish, 12 feet away. That was so interesting. So it, it comes out of nowhere. Yeah, that was sweet. We just saw a big one on live scope. Dude, that was, that was a prize winning fish right there. For sure. That was cool. I think if we win the 15, we give it back to the charity. Because it's cinnamon, right? Yeah. Are they good? Yeah, they're great. Kyle says it's a good charity. Dude, this is great activity. Do most people catch a fish? No, I think it's like a 5% chance. Like somewhere between 60 and 120 fish get caught. Whoa. Yeah, you can just stand there. I'm gonna jig for a little bit here. Flake, 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 we got a flake. I bet your fish hit it. Let me just see. Yeah, there's a fish there. Wait. Okay, hold it sideways. Okay, he's gonna take line. Let him take a little bit of line. Feed him some line. So pull it out like this. Yeah. Do you feel that little dunk dunk? So you wanna wait till the fish is moving away because then you're gonna put the hooks into the back of his madness. Patience. My man. heart is pounding. Whew. Interesting. Yeah, okay, set the tip up down. And then just go hand over hand, start pulling. Yeah, there's something there. I don't know if there is. Oh, a little lo looser. Oh, you pull us into the weeds. No! There's definitely a fish there. Just oh it, it, man. It. I don't know, he was there, but he might've just pulled into the weeds and dropped it. But man, you wish for a flag during a tournament. Oh, oh Jeremy, you didn't do anything wrong. It just wasn't there. That fish just swam into the weeds. Don't want to be negative, but you might only get one or two chances in a tournament like this. That was exciting. Oh man. 15 grand was on the end of this line. Flag it went up, it went up, it went up, it went up. Go, 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 Jeremy. Okay, pick it up here, see if there's any weight. Oh, again. Yeah, dad's got one, another flag. Take it, take it, Jeremy, take it. Yeah, hit it. Oh, no, okay, come to dad, dad's got a flag. What's going on? Is it there? Keep going, keep going. No, you're hooked on the ice, you're hooked on the ice. Okay, I gotta set baits again. You can start sinking it down. You can give this to Jeremy and you can start setting it. Absolute pandemonium. We've had three flags, which I could have never, ever expected. Well, Jeremy, you have the hot hole, apparently. Apparently, still nothing to show for it, though. Two flags. Dad's popped off, too. Dad's went up crazy. I probably would have waited a second longer, but it's so tough to say. You don't want it to run into other people's lines, either. Wild. It's all you can hope for, really, and then you just gotta hope the fish stays pinned. What's up, boys? You catching catch any fish? No fish yet? Maybe your flag's up right now and you don't even know. Any bites? No, we saw a giant pike like this. Really? Man, I'd like to see one of those. No flags. Staying hopeful though, staying hopeful. There is some pulled pork at a little food truck. And there's a beer gardens on the ice. Interesting fact, which many Americans do not know, you cannot legally drink on the ice or in a boat. There's an open liquor law and you will get fined. There is a beer gardens, which is a fenced off area at this derby where you are able to indulge in adult beverages if that's your thing. But uh, yeah, you can't drink on the ice, unless it's a beer gardens. Technically, I think with how it's set up, you could probably set your tip ups outside of the beer gardens and have a beer inside. Maybe some guys are doing that. But we are watching for flags. This guy might have a flag right now. I think it's pretty big. I don't know. It's pretty big, but it's stuck somewhere. Maybe dump a little bit of this. Yeah, Jeremy. Jeremy just had one on too. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Dude, that's going to put you in first for sure. Yeah. Dude. Wow! 
That was right beside our tip up. The leading fish is 12 pounds. That was absolutely insane. That was, what happened was the flag that Jeremy had that went up twice. A guy saw the action and moved in, which is totally fair. I don't blame him at all. There's a fish that we missed twice. So he moved in, could it have been the same fish? Who knows, but I think that fish is either in first or second place now, over 13 pounds. That was a big pike. And what are the odds that it gets caught right beside us in this entire area? Uh, unbelievable. Good for him um, and very close to winning. That guy's gonna have a nice paycheck. But man, when we saw that head come up the hole, whew, that was exciting. I got it. You got it. This is what I do as a little brother. Yeah. Clear off Jeremy's line. You got a fish? Let's see it. Show the camera. Oh man, that's a prize fish. Hold it up. I got it on a Cisco. Can I borrow it? Just for the next 20 minutes? There we go. Nice. I've been doing this a lot of years and I've never caught a fish. This is your so. first one? Good job, good job. That's great. Good luck, hope it weighs heavy. Put a lot of lead weights in there. Yeah. <laughs> That's sweet. This is fun. What a great day. Look at all these people out. Enjoying ice fishing. What a spectacle. This is so Canadian. Flag! Guys! Hey! Flag! It's, oh man. Let's hear the story on that big fish. What happened? I thought that thing was a log. It wasn't coming. It was really? stuck at the bottom of the hole, man. How big? How long? Did you measure how long it was? No, they didn't measure how long. But uh, are you in second or how big? I don't know. They didn't say honestly. No. Thirteen point seven six pounds. Amazing. So. That was so exciting. Dad picked up some food. Any second now, this flag's gonna fly. We got some pulled pork on the ice. Life is good. That's what I'm talking about. Flag, our flag's up, our flag's up. Jeremy, Jeremy. Just hit him right away. Yeah, just go. Yeah, just hit him. Yeah, you got a fish. Take your time. <laughs> oh, is it off? Oh, was it on there for a second? I don't know. Man. I don't know. I this area, know. I'm choking on pulled pork right now. Oh, the excitement. When it's a competition, it just makes every fish that much more exciting. I cannot believe how many flags we've had. Fish is just pinging off one tip up to the next. You know, you find a good fishing spot, your buddy tells one guy and then this happens. You gotta summon some good vibes. It's gonna happen, hey? Three, two, one. Oh, 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 he's on, he's on. Look at this. Yay! Nice work. Thanks. There's Jeremy. That's where the fish was caught. Jeremy would have been taking this a little more seriously. He probably would have caught that fish. Wow. Did this flag just go up right here? Jeremy, Jeremy, right here. I am aware, Jeremy. <laughs> Can we once again note that Jeremy was right here and the flag went up. But did he catch a fish? I don't know, Jeremy, I don't know. Jeremy, you know the saying, you can lead a horse to water, <laughs> but you can't make him drink. I followed your advice. I was just playing the advice. One minute remaining in the Falcon Lake Winter Fish Off. 
Oh man, we came close. Feet, 20 feet away from one of the biggest fish. Guess I'm gonna have to come back next year. Six, four, one, three. <laughs> Almost got him. That's it. We're gonna go over for the prizes. Someone's gonna bring home $15,000. So I'm excited to see that. Maybe it's the fish right over here. All right, guys. Well, the losers can pull the toboggan back. We're all losers, I guess. We tried. We're starting at number 10, working our way up to number one. Good luck. And the winner! Look at this. Of a $15,000 fish. A $15,000 fish. Here we go. 13.76 pounds. Eric Coswitcher. Eric Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Eric, what was it? Uh, Jiggin, uh, with rattle bait. Tip up with a orange note. His first fish ever on a tip up. Okay. First fish ever on a tip up. It was a tip up with a smelt. Did you bring it in uh, by hand? Yeah, I did. It was actually the guys fishing next to us that told us the flag was up, thankfully. So. Oh. Oh. We should give them a hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? You can spare it. Because that is unreal. Congratulations. Good job, man. Again, <laughs> right beside us. Right beside us. I can't believe it. This is a pretty impressive event. Over 3,400 holes drilled, 1,800 anglers, $100,000 in cash and prizes with the $15,000 first prize, and they raised $18,000 for charity. I'll definitely be coming back.